hello everyone salam alaikum in this video you will learn how to control led using a push button so let's get started so here you are in mini project 3 led control using push button so usually control systems include switches that are responsible for sending commands to the system the most common type of switches is the push button so push buttons are used in most of the devices that you are that you are using such as tv remote washing machine etc okay so what is the aim of this project this mini project aims to show you how to control the states of digital output devices such as led using an input device such as push button so what is the project outcomes you're going to use digital write and digital read so now let's go to uh, this file the link you will find it under the video in the description so uh, click on code 3 mini project 3 so we need to copy this code here it's already given to you click ok and then no now you have the code here you have to go and apply it on Tinkercad because you cannot uh, run the code here so let's go to Tinkercad circuit new circuit so as you can see here in order to apply this code you have you have to build the circuit so what is needed to build the circuit you need a push button you need led arduino and resistors to control the current so let's go to tinkercad click on arduino so lucky you there is uh, a push button connected to arduino here you drag this one and then add led so this is the uh, push button already connected so it's easier for you now you need only uh, one led to be connected let's see where should we connect the led the led sh we should connect it to pin number 12 so go to here go to all choose the led or you can search here also led okay drag it here so it will be connected to bin number 12 okay uh, so uh, you need here uh, a resistor so you need a resistor here to be connected what is the uh, value let's see what value is needed here so it's the 220 so change this to ohm and change this to 220 click on enter so you could connect it direct like this and this one will be connected to the ground but wait a second the led is connected to pin number not to pin number 13 but pin number 12 right so the led is connected to pin number 12 then you need to add one uh, wire here okay so uh, that's it you connect the led to pin number 12 let's see where the push button is connected the push button is connected to pin number 8 so you need the uh, to move this from two here to click on the line or the wire here and then you will uh, a circle will be here take the circle and put it in pin number eight okay then uh, here you go you can make it uh, you can make adjustment to the wires to be uh, neat and clear okay now go to the code go to 
text as usual continue then delete everything here and copy this code copy then paste it here so uh, let's run the code just to see the result then we will take a, a deep look on what's going on there so if i push the button as you can see if i click here you can see the led is turning on now if i'm not pushing it's off so the first step to write any code you need to uh, declare the variable and to see where is the connection for each uh, electronic you are adding so here we add led to pin number 12 and push button to pin number 8 and this is a variable to store the push button since its input value okay so as usual there is void setup and void loop of course always inside the void setup let's stop the simulation so we can edit the code here so this is inside the void setup we have to identify the behave of the pin okay so what how we can do this we use the pin mode to identify whether the connection is acting like input or like an output okay if it's input that means you are using your hand or there is a data coming to the arduino then only it's an input if it's an output if i if you can see the result like for example the led or to see the light or the buzzer to hear the voice or a motor to see the movement if you see the results then it's an output okay so Again, if it's uh, input, push button, potentiometer, sensors, all of those uh, electronics, uh, they considered as input to the Arduino. But if you are seeing the result, like LED, motor, buzzer, those are output. Okay. So in this case, this LED pin will be uh, as output. This push button here will be as input okay so i think so far so clear we have to identify the connection here and then for every new connection you have to write a number of, of pen mode if you identify two connection here so since we have two connection here in the digital pen one in 12 and one uh, and one in eight so i have to give them input or output i have to define the pen mode okay now inside the void loop so we use the right function if you are controlling the output so if you want to turn it on you use high if you want to turn it off you use low and this is the digital right and here you use the pen uh, the led pen here okay so if it's an input so this time we have here the pen mode as an input here so we have input so if it is input what we have to use we have to use the the read function okay in this case we will not use write because we are controlling or we want the input from what from a push button which is from input so you have to use the digital read let's have a deep lock for the digital read here why do we use the digital read not analog read you are using a digital signal not analog signal what do i mean by that the digital signal it's only on or off the analog signal you have a uh, multiple uh, you are controlling the um, the potentiometer or the sensors or the analog sensors so an analog signal you have infinite number of data the digital signal you have specific whether it's on or off one or zero so for the push button of course it's digital that's why we use the uh, digital read here okay so we use we are using the digital read 
we are reading what exactly we are reading this value in, from pen 8 the push button pen we are reading this value okay but we need to store it in a new variable which we call it val val here we store this value because we are using our hand to click on the push button so at this time at the time i'm i'm clicking on this push button there is a new value should be stored where to be stored it will be stored in val okay so i think this one now is clear now we use the f control structure if this value is high which is on if this value equal equal which is mean if it's high then use a digital right and make the led high else if it's not pressed if it's zero then the digital right the led is off keep it off and that's it this is the idea behind this code let's do it again and now you are understanding the logic when i click here this input is going uh, the, the arduino is reading it and store it in value this value if it's high the led high if it's low the led low that's it so now let's go for further exploration the first question here add another led and connect it to pin number seven of the Arduino board. Then modify the code so that both LEDs are controlled using the same push button. So let's go to Tinkercad. So now here we have one LED. So uh, in the question, we have to add another LED. So just click on this one, Control C, copy, or you can go to uh, click on code so if you want to see the code and then click again if you want to to go for the components click L whether you choose from the led here or search led here drag this one let me change the color yellow okay so this is the uh, led and again, I need another uh, resistor, of course, I copied and pasted. So in the question, uh, they asked me to put it in, in pen 7, right? So let's make it in pen 7. And the other one here should be connected to the ground as well. So let's connect it with the other here. Okay, let's connect it to the ground here. Okay. So now this uh, leg and this leg is connected both to the ground. This one is connected to pin number 12 and this one here connected to pin number 7. <clears throat> okay, so how we can edit the code now. So since there is uh, uh since there is a new connection i need to add a new line here so let's copy the first line and repeat it again copy paste it here let's see uh, let's write um let's change the variable name because you cannot have two variable name with the same uh with the same name so let's call it uh, led pen yellow or green it was green right so green and then this one was connected to pin number seven so we have to change this 12 to seven to seven okay so this is the first step we change now another thing we have to add of course you need to add another pin mode why because now it becomes one two three connection so you need to have three pin mode functions so let's copy paste the same because both of them are output 
but now here I need to change it as per the new uh, name I give here so copy the name here and paste it here so now we have three pen mode one for the LED the original one one for the new one the green one and one for the previous one okay so in the question uh, modify the code so that both LEDs are controlled using the same push button so this is very easy uh, we only need to add another line here because to control the LED we uh, use the digital write function right so so to use the digital write function let, let's have a look at digital write function so digital write function to control the uh, LED to turn it on or to turn it off we use digital because it's only on off we are not controlling brightness we are not controlling any multiple data here we are only controlling it to be on and off so that's why it's digital right okay so here is the pen name and then low for off high for on so as you can see here I need to add the same line of code but for this time instead of LED pen the original one what do you think we will add or what we will change here of course I need to change what I am turning on so here I'm turning this the the red one and here I need to uh, turn the green one so let's copy the green from there so make sure that the same name here here and the pen mode and finally in the controlling uh, structure and then this is the digital right so now if I, if the if I press the push button both LEDs will go high and add another line but this time instead of high let's make it low so now if high both will be go high if else which means no pressing both will go low so now let's start the simulation again and see so let's press so both go high so both leds are on now both of the leds are off so that's it for this question the other question here after adding the second led modify the code so that the status of the two leds are opposite to each other for example when the push button is pressed the first led turns on and the second led turns off and when the push button is not pressed the opposite should happen so this is very easy uh, we only need to uh, change here from change one of those one uh, each time one high and the other one low here one high then the other one low so in the first case let's make the LED the original one low and the green high and then let's make the green low and the LED the, uh, the original one here high so just switch here high, low high high low okay then start the simulation and let's see see now the LED the red one is uh, on if I press it will go off and the other one will go on if it's not pressed this is off this is on so that's it for this question okay so finally comment the pen mood statement of the LED pen what did you notice okay so let's stop the simulation so to comment this pen mode this mean so it's the the one next to the shift okay it's the one next to the shift so if you if you add this that's mean this line of code is not working anymore it's not included in the code so let's see what will happen if we comment this one let's start the simulation so as you can see here the LED uh, is not working as an output you cannot see the 
output significantly okay so that's why we need to uh, identify each pen, each pen uh, to be output or input so that's it